case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2015, the Alaska Court of Appeals heard the case of Simon v. State, which focused on the definition of theft and whether the government must prove that the defendant exercised unauthorized control over the property. The case involved Harold Evan Simon, who was convicted of stealing a jacket and hiding DVDs in a backpack without paying for them at Walmart. Simon's attorney filed a motion for a new trial, arguing that the court needed to determine whether his actions constituted a completed act of theft or attempted theft, and if the judge provided adequate instructions to the jury. Additionally, the court had to decide if Simon's actions were among the least serious within the definition of his offense. Ultimately, the court ruled that the crime of theft is complete when a person, with the intent to deprive the store of merchandise, performs an act that exceeds or is inconsistent with the scope of physical possession granted to customers by the store owner. Simon's concealment of merchandise and attempt to leave the store with unpaid items made him guilty of theft. However, the court determined that the judge's supplementary instruction on the actus reus of theft was incorrect, as the defendant's location was relevant but not decisive. The government had to prove unauthorized control over the property. Simon's appeal for a mitigating factor was denied, as he failed to prove his conduct was among the least serious within his offense's definition. As a result, the judgment of the Superior Court was affirmed. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.